Benita, that's Yosh, and this is our daughter Tallulah May. We're a family of three that have been sailing around the world for the last five years on board our 40 foot sailboat Nanji. We're currently heading north through the West Sumatra Islands. We're on our way to a little place called Telos Islands. It is absolutely stunning, so we can't wait to show you it. We're sailing with our 11 month old baby daughter, Tallulah, and um, she has been in our videos quite a bit, but we've never actually shown like how we manage looking after her whilst also keeping the boat moving. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to really get in there and show you the ins and outs of, of what we do and how we manage it, because it has changed our lives dramatically while we're sailing and and just in general nobody else around so I think we're just gonna have a little stop have a little swim and a little play as well <laughs> When you spy little islands like this on satellite images, you just gotta go and stop off and say good day because this is this is next level. This is one of those little joints where you just like, ah, oh, aren't we in paradise? When we first moved on to Nanji, we always wanted to have kids, and we knew by moving onto a boat was gonna make that a little bit harder. But since we've been sailing around for five years now, and now we've got Tallulah. Having boat babies was always, always on the tickets. And now that we've got a boat baby, it is definitely difficult, but. It's, life is just so much sweeter. Life is so much more rewarding just having little bubs around, you know, just stopping off at these beautiful little places and just watching Tallulah go walking on the beach. Like, <laughs> it's pretty beautiful. The ocean is calling. I know that bringing a child up on a boat isn't the most conventional upbringing, but for us, like the ocean and nature is what brings us so much happiness and um, this is where we love to be. So we figured why not bring a child up out here as well. I grew up by the beach and it's something I've always loved. So that's something we want to share and pass down through to our children. Yeah, exactly. And we're not sure what's going to happen once she gets to the age of like schooling, whether we're going to homeschool, um, but we're just going to cross those bridges once we get there. And for the moment, we're just listening to Tallulah and seeing if she's happy and she's enjoying it, which she is. And at the moment, she has the biggest <laughs> schoolyard in the world. Yeah, the biggest backyard, the biggest front yard, and she gets to be with both of her parents all day. So yeah. I think it's pretty awesome, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> It's not the days that I'm counting down until I see it. It's not the pillow that I'm holding. Is that southerly breeze? Let me have a nice little nighttime style, I reckon. Yeah, let's get back to dinner. That's not right? the issue. I'm just running out of ways to say I miss you.
is one big bright moon, massive bright moon. The fact that the moon is lighting up my face right now. It's like daytime out here. I feel like I'm getting moon burned right now. to another successful night passage. It got pretty squally there after a beautiful sunset. It got really squally. We had some big ass lightning storms all night. But uh, we managed to avoid getting struck, which was nice. And we're just a couple of miles off the uh, cut that goes up between the Telos Islands here. Then it's about 20 miles. We'll have to uh, flick the motor on and we'll get up into an anchorage and 
try to go to sleep if Tallulah will let us. Because Tallulah's been asleep all night. Just because mum and dad haven't, doesn't mean Tallulah will be. So, could be a big day ahead. That's one thing about sailing with babies. It's good to sleep when they sleep. And then when we're sailing and we're doing two hours on, two hours off, and we're not sleeping when baby's sleeping. <sighs> Pretty much puts a big day ahead of you. And when you're on a longer passage of sailing more than 24 hours, say we're doing three days, so you're losing half your sleep at night and then you're not really getting that back during the day because you're entertaining Tallulah. So longer passages do get a little bit tiring. But uh, we've done our 100 miles since we left yesterday morning. Over 100 miles by the time we reached this anchorage and then um, we just kick back and spend 24 hours resting up for the next leg. <laughs> Isn't that just damn beautiful? Oh, I love my ladies. charts for this area are way off and so um, yeah you can't really trust them so I'm just up on the bow making sure that we're not going to hit anything and up ahead I can see a sandbar or a reef bar that's not on the charts and it's massive so there are charts here but don't trust them. See all this here it says it's 40 meters and that's reef. all over my face. Yeah! I've got breakfast all over my face. <laughs> yeah. Clap! Clap! Big girl. So Tallulah's really learned how to climb and now it literally takes, if you're not looking at it for 10 seconds, she could be at the top step climb, climbing over out, out the top. So we've been taking the stairs away but then it just kind of ruins all our space in the boat. So just trying to Baby proof the stairs. <laughs> so you got these tie downs, they're actually meant for scooters. I like to tie stuff on the back of a scooter, but I figured it'd be a nice cobweb we might be able to put around the boat and she can't hook her arms in on the back here then. Well, she, she still might be able to get it. She might just use that as a jungle gym. <laughs> we can only try it or else we're just gonna have to take the stairs away, I don't know. Stole them somewhere and we gotta climb out. <laughs> I feel like the uh, jungle gym spider netting on the stairs might have worked. It's been, what, three hours and she hasn't even tried to climb it. She can't hook her leg in. <laughs> Dad's won. <laughs> yes, Dad's won. What's the scoreboard, Tallulah? Dad won. Tallulah zero. Ha <laughs> ha! We've anchored right out the front of Tello Town and I think we're all getting a little bit uh, cabin fever crazy. We all need a little bit of stimulation, especially Tallulah and um, you know, it's lunchtime as well. So we might as well go to land and make a day of it, go and have a look around. Every part of Indonesia is a little bit different and so let's go and check out Tello Town and see what, it, what it's all about. Summer snow When it falls on you Your blood runs cold But don't you sweat Your pretty skin Cause it melts away From its I'm not sure where we're going <laughs> So we've made it to Tello Town and I think that they haven't seen a few um, foreigners for a while now. We are very much so welcomed and everybody wants to have a photo with us and everyone's saying <laughs> hello and it's a lot, you know, like it's awesome but it can be a little bit it's of a funny. lot. It's just funny, wherever you go there's just like a hundred set of eyes on yeah, you. Yeah, people just come and just want to like hang out near you so. They literally just walk up and just stand right next to you and yeah. just look at you until yeah. you go. Hey, you going, mate? <laughs> yeah, so it's a little bit overwhelming, but everyone is so lovely and it's friendly, funny. and like this is such a beautiful oh, town. So. Hello. 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 
Got in this little thing it's pretty hot here in town and people are pretty intense there's a lot going on everyone's yeah. frothing the seats <laughs> i guess this is what it feels like on the red carpet eh? yeah, celebrity. <laughs> especially with this little one little. the star of the show there's no supermarket in this town and so we've had a little bit of a look at some of the vegetables and stuff as we're going by in the little shops and um because so because they're out in the sun all day they kind of look a bit sad but we do need to get some fresh produce so we're gonna have to have a little bit of a look see I think Sailing and travelling to these remote areas is an amazing experience and such an adventure that we really want to share with our daughter. As she grows, we know so will her needs and wants for life. All we can do is continue to do our best, to listen to what she requires and adapt the best we can. There is a big wide world out there and we want Tallulah to experience it all. Thanks for watching Legends, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel and we will see you in the next one. This is fast. He's going so big. Whoa. We're going to build a sandcastle to the moon. Yeah. Oh, wow, good job. Put some more on. Get some more. Well done! <laughs> Gonna build a sandcastle to the moon! <laughs>